So Martin, when people are, you know, going through this process from the exhibitor side and really have no understanding, obviously, hopefully they listen to an episode like this and they, they gather that information, but besides going to the freight desk, what are the questions they should be asking and uh, the things that they should understand before even dealing with, you know, the marshalling yard? How do, how do they gather this information? What are the resources they have at their disposal? So there, so every exhibitor, Cleo, gets gets what's called an exhibitor kit that that lines okay. out uh, a schedule of the show and when things are happening, right? So deadlines, uh, uh, resources of, of, of if you're shipping direct or you're shipping to advanced warehouse. So an exhibitor needs to decide depending on production, you know, timelines and 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 when they're gonna get the booth out on the road. If you're on the east coast or you're on the west coast, all this matters, right? Of when your shipment needs to go out. But you need to make a decision. The first decision needs to be, do I send this direct or do I send this to advanced warehouse? If it goes to advanced warehouse, you save yourself the headache of your carrier having to go through these six steps, right? Uh, if you decide if, if, if I don't have enough time and it needs to go direct, then you need to ask yourself, okay, what is my true target for my booth? Because I don't want to get through the first day, get offloaded and get charge off target or have my carrier they're too early and then he's holding on to my freight for a couple of extra days and maybe charging me for holding on to it for this long. Uh, there's also the, you know, the, the, the carrier that you choose, it needs to be experienced in delivering to, to, uh, to events or, or conventions because of this process. A lot of them, you know, want to book, oh, I'm going to go drive this to Anaheim Convention Center. And then, you know what, then I'm going to pick this, this other new shipment at 10 a.m. and then start heading back. And next thing you know, they're stuck at this marshalling yard for hours, right? Wondering how did this happen? So choosing a vent, cho choosing a, a company that understands conventions and, and the process is number one. Number number two, understanding your 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 target date so you're not there too early or too late, because that that'll cost you money. Uh, and then most importantly, you know, once you find the the the, the company that does understand to get there on time. Uh, and 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 uh, and and be very communicative with with their customer, so they know where they're at in every phase, so that the customer is not calling us to try to hunt him down, right? That that's that's probably the biggest, you know. The if if the exhibitors are to do their homework, that's how they do it. Martin, can I ask yeah. you if is it your recommendation that whenever possible you should ship to the advanced warehouse? So it's always my recommendation, but there's, there's, there's some fees to that, right? So going to an advanced warehouse has- I was just going to say that. You, 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 you very fee? often pay, pay a, a higher per pound material handling rate. And I think, well, it's, am I wrong in saying that's because it's handled twice, right? It's unloaded there, has to be reloaded and, and, and sent. You know, and and it's I don't think it's a higher rate. I think it's just they they charge you a percentage, like a, a three percent surcharge or whatever on on the whole shipment. But okay. it's convenient, right? It's they have it. It's documented. It's on a truck. It's gonna get in the night before of your target. So when you show up in the morning, ninety percent, ninety eight percent of the time, it's there, right? On occasion, it might not be there if they're falling behind or something happened, they misdelivered, but. But those are easy finds compared to, I don't know when my truck's going to get in. Um, you and I have had, had offline conversations about if the last day of the Marshall of the advanced warehouse is the 15th and the first day of direct shipments, let's say is the 22nd of the month. Is it wise to, I think we can make the advanced warehouse to show up on the last day they receive for advanced warehouse, or should you be trying to show up? Early. I mean, I'm just wondering, what is the last day of Advanced Warehouse for the NAB show or the Recon show so, or him so show? The risk, like? Yeah, so the risk there is uh, there's cutout time. So the, the exhibitor kit to Kaleos, what kind of resources they have, right? You look at, at your, your exhibitor kit and it'll give you cutout times of Advanced Warehouses. So let's say the last day is the, the 16th, but the cutout is at 2 p.m., right? So if you're not checked in, before 2 p.m., you are not getting in, and your shipments now is going to have to go direct, or you might, or they might take you and, and charge you an additional fee for being for being late. But that's up to the the general contractor, right? Uh, but uh, you know, you should always shoot for a day or two before the deadline 
if you have the time. Uh, sometimes you don't. And the, the direct is the best option because it, it's also the most cost effective when it comes to the general contractor's pricing. But again, if you're getting hit by, with wait time from your carrier, that uh, the, the advanced warehouse might be, you know, a lot cheaper and a lot less expensive yeah. and more convenient. Mm. So what, what would be your reason for not going advanced? Out? I mean, we've, we understand the cost aspect. There's additional costs, but are there other reasons? Like, I'm assuming timing would be one. I'm going from this show to this show. I don't, I need the, I need my um, assets at this show and I don't have time to get to the advance in time. What are some of the so, other reasons? Yeah, so, 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 so the advanced warehouse, the, uh, the deadlines are usually a week or two weeks before the, the, the show, right? The actual move-in. So not going direct gives you that much more time to finish you know, your fabricating a booth, right? So, so people take advantage of that extra time if, if they need to, you know, make their booth uh, 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 completion date. If they don't have that time, they're gonna they're gonna use the extra time and go direct. But if, if they finish in advance, then then advance warehouse is, is the best way to go. You know, keep in mind too, if if you have a, a, a an enormous booth with a lot of freight. Exhibitors have the option to work with those general contractors directly to figure out a, a timeline and 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 figure out how to move that freight in and out and and you know they, they might be a charge but they can work uh, uh, with the general contractor to move that freight in and out differently than than the marshaling yard. You know, uh, Khalil, to your point, I would say ninety five percent of the people we see that end up going direct to show, to Martin's point, is because they they there was. They procrastinated or there was a delay in finalizing the sign off and the decisions or the artwork collection or creation of their graphics. But they, in a few words, you just somewhere along the, the, the exhibit building uh, process, there was not enough time left to do that well or safely. So they go, we can pick up an extra week or 10 days if we, you know, if we, uh, just go direct to go show. Direct. And on a five-day move-in, if you're targeted to day three, maybe you can get away with that. But if you know on a three-day move-in, you need all three days, you really are playing a little bit of Russian roulette about cutting your delivery because there's just no guarantee you're going to have your stuff. Well, I guarantee you won't have your stuff in your booth space at eight o'clock on day one of move-in if you're, if you're shipping direct. So this is all why um, for our project managers and sales reps that are listening, these are conversations you want to have with your customers about, um, about the strategy as to why, you, you know, you want to be engaging them early and having enough time. I, the thing they want more than anything, Khalil, is as much of a hassle-free move in and move out experience as possible. And, yeah. you know, they have an influence over it with everything Martin's talking about. I think an understanding of everything we're talking about and, you can pretty much identify listening to to what they can do to sort of minimize those pain points. That's critical. It's just critical that they yeah. you, you talk to them and get them engaged early. And and uh, and every time they miss a deadline, because uh, we go through it even with partners that are in the industry, uh, and they're struggling to get the information out of their customers. It's not that they're procrastinating, but I go, you realize what this means. I know you wanted install on straight time. Move it is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now that we're going direct to show, you're delivering on Friday. Do you really want to have a four man crew at eight o'clock waiting? Because the chances are the stuff's not going to be there, right? So, we 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 do a lot of discussions like that with with other exhibit houses, and I'm sure labor companies are doing the same thing with their partners. It's it's trying to create a great experience for the customer, but yeah, sometimes um, the challenge is saving the customer from themselves, right? 